has a doubt from yesterday's class? Is there anyone? Is there anyone who has a doubt or who wants something to be clarified based on yesterday's? I'm saying about yesterday. Is there anyone? Is there anyone who finds some you know difficulties or something which he or she did not understand so that they can clear before we we we, we come back to the today's agenda, today's class? Is there anyone? Okay. Then if there is no one, let me start the class. <clears throat> so yesterday we have seen all these steps and for your proper knowledge is uh, during exam you have to know the steps okay you have to know all the steps how the steps follow from one to the last even the steps of formulating lpp okay steps formulating lpp you have to know them all right you have to know the steps for formulating lpp so uh, you should uh, study every day, not study. You have to write down with your pen and your book. You have to put somewhere in your book so that you can be able to do what you can be able to know. Uh, you can be able to know what is <clears throat> what is what this point means, what this point does not mean. All right. All right. So uh, and today, as I'm going to start, I remember yesterday you didn't remind me. You didn't remind me yesterday about uh, about what about the previous question which assignment which I gave you. I told you I have seen Ashish. I have seen Ashish's answer. I have seen who else. I have seen uh, um, Surya's answer. Okay, but all the answers which I have seen from you guys, it was uh, something I told you something was lacking. Okay. So I will come to that one after solving uh, this LPP uh, graphical method. All right, I will come to that. One. All right. So this was yesterday's. Uh, this was yesterday's task, which we have uh, shipped, which we have done, and we have solved both. We have solved all this in two ways. Okay. We have solved first. We have to convert this equation into uh, this uh, inequality equation into equations means equality equations and then we search the value of x1 as well as x2 by considering x as a zero all right let me not speak let me show in the writing all right so this is it x1 let me <clears throat> try to take this and then we can go again once again Will dictate me you will dictate me this number as i'm going to switch to the white board and i see if white board will be shared to all of you okay. i'm going to use a white board so that we can uh, we can be able to to have the we can be able to have all things in a you know in a proper way because here in PPT sometimes it's going off and comes on. So when the board is appearing to you all, please, I'm going to allow everybody to collaborate. If there's something to change, you can do it, no problem. Okay, you everybody can be able to access the board. So <clears throat> I hope, is it clear? Is the board being shared to you all? Yes, if it is yes, you can thumbs up and then I can proceed. Is it being shared? Okay. Okay, good. Good. All right. So uh, we saw we saw that we want first of all, what do we want to do? For the first thing which we want to do, we want to uh, first step we want to uh, we want to convert, okay, or we want to convert inequality, inequality, inequality into equality question like that's, that's so to say okay that's so to say we say in that way we want them to be like that way by taking our problems which we have there the problem which we have there what are those problems okay let me 
find it. Okay. By taking this equation which we have there, the equation number one, the equation number one we have, what was that? Is it? What is that one? 10x, 10x1, 20x2. Okay. 10x1, 10 X1. Sir, whiteboard is not visible, sir. Whiteboard is not visible? Yes, sir, for me. Is it for all of you? Sir, it is taking so much time to load, sir. It's taking too much time to load. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. Let me... You better write in the screen share only, sir. Okay, let me check this. Sir, it may, take, it may consume so much time, sir, because Teams is not responding properly. Slow. Okay, fine. Let me then stop this and I come to something else. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me let me see oh, if this will be okay. Is this being shared? I will try to I will try to use this one. We have two x one plus is it ten x two? Okay which is lesser than 120, okay, 120. What is the second equation? The second equation is, uh, I know I, I, I have messed up, this is not, this is supposed to be, this is has to be 10, and this is has to be 20, okay, this has to be 20. I'm not going to solve the all of it, this is has to be 20, this has to be 10, correct. And what is the second one? Please dictate me the second one for the sake of time. What second equation? This is equation one. And what is equation number two? Please dictate me first. Equation number two. 8x1 hmm? hmm? plus 8x2. 8x1 plus, plus 8x2. And the Less than or 80. equal to 80. 80. 80. Okay. So for the solution which you had, you remember that we formulate the table, we formulate the small table where we put the x value, okay, x1 value, we put x2 value, and to your knowledge also you have to include the third one to make it, you know, very uh, clear. The third one should be the value of x1 comma value of x2 these are these are the coordinates or the points which we want to connect okay so if x1 is equal to 0 if x1 is equal to 0 then then what are you going to have we're going to have 20 okay 0 so just to make it in a broad way so that everybody can understand and we take 10 x1 x2 10 x2 which is equal to 120 Okay, 120. This is a zero, it's gone. This is, will go. Okay, that's a zero, we'll go. And then we remain with the 10, x2, which is equal to what? 120, 120, x2. All right, then x2, x2 is equal to what? 120 divide 10. Okay, which we find that x2 is equal to what? x2 is equal to 12. Okay. So if x is 0, if x is 0 is equal to 0, then x2 is equal to 12. So the coordinate which we have is 0 and 12. We have a 0 and 12. You can keep this down here, 0 and 12. Now, if x2 is equal to 0, okay, if x2 is equal to 0, then what is, what is the value of x1? x1 will be equal to 20, 20 x1 plus uh, zero, because it's a zero, no need to mention that, that one, which is equal to 120, 120. Then x1 will equal to what? 120, okay, 120 divide 20, okay, which is equal to what? Uh, six, right? It's equal to six, it's equal to six. So if x, if x, 
2 is equal to 0. Okay. Then x1 is equal to 6. Is it clear? And, uh, and the coordinate which you're going to have is going to be 6, comma, 0. Okay, 6, comma, 0. Remember, this is for which equation? This is for equation 1. This is for equation 1. And for equation 2, for equation 2, for equation 2, I'm going to write the table. You can solve it because we have a short time. Okay, I'm going to write the table and then you can solve it. All right, so we have x2, we have x, x1, sorry, we have x1, x2, and we have one more thing which is called x1, comma, x2. These are the coordinates, okay? x1, comma, x2, coordinate. And here, what are we going to have? Here we have, uh, in this one, we're going to have if x1 is equal to zero, then, x2 is equal to 10. Clear? If x0, if x2 is equal to 0, then x1 is equal to 10. All right? And the coordinate which you're going to have is going to be 0, comma 10, 0, comma 10, coordinate put into uh, brackets. And we have one more here, 10, comma 0. All right? So this is the coordinate which we have. All right, these are the coordinate which we have. All right, so now the second thing to be done here, the second thing to be done here is to uh, plot this onward. We want to plot this on a table. Keep in mind 12, 0, 12, and 6, 12. All right, 0, 12, 6, 12. Now, here, let me try to draw a line for you. You have to use a scale. You have to use a scale and you have to use a square box and you have to use a square box. Sir, one doubt. Yes, please. Sir, is this the question which you solved yesterday? Yeah, this is what I solved yesterday. What I solved. But the, for equation one, it will be 10x1 plus 20x2, not 20x2 plus 10x2. Oh, 10x1. Okay. Yeah. So if the question is changed, the coordinates will be different also. Okay, never there is. Never there is. All right. So, sorry that for your knowledge. Let, let us. Second equation is correct, sir. Only thing you should change is like. Uh, First one, right. Is, uh, yeah, 0 and 6 and uh, 12 and 0. Yes, it should be 20, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Like this one. So here is going to be good. Yeah, zero, 0, 6. Zero, yeah, 0, no problem. We have a 0 here. And it's, it has going to be 6. Huh? And uh, 12 and 0. Yeah, 6. It's going to be 6. And this is going to be 12 and 0. This is going to be yes, sir. 12. Okay. And this is going to be... Let me let's go. Thank you, Surya. Thank you. So, all right. So this is going to be uh, 0 comma six okay comma six zero comma six and this is going to be twelve sorry it's going to be twelve let me let's correct it let me give enough space here okay good so all right so this is going to be zero comma six okay this is coordinate this is the coordinate which we have here and uh, this is going to be 12 comma 0 good okay 12 comma 0 thank you so now on our graph which we have here on our graph which we have here let me make it long here and let me start from two this is going to be two four i put space i put interval of two 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 four uh six eight 10, 12, okay? This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 12. Uh, what is the highest? <clears throat> is a 12, right? The highest is a 12. Okay, fine, good. Highest is a 12. So here we have a 2. Sorry, here we have, here we have a 2. Here we have 4. Here we have a 6. Here we have a 8. Here we have a 10. 
here we have a term okay same way two four six eight ten let me put also 12 no no worries 12. now the first coordinate is zero the first coordinate is what the first coordinate is a zero six and 12 0, 0 6 when x is 0 this is put here this should be this should be x x2 this should be x1 okay when x1 is a 0 this is a 0 coordinate this is a 0 if x1 is equal to 0 then x2 is equal to 6 if x2 is equal to 0 then x x1 is equal to 12 now we draw a straight line here from here to here we draw a state line. So this is line one. Okay, this is line one. Let me mention as line one. Right. The second coordinate is what is the second coordinate? The second coordinate is 0, 10, and 10, 0. 0, 10, 0, 10, and 10. Let me change this. Okay. 0, 10. We have a 0, 10. 0, 10, and what? 10, 0. Okay, 10, 0. Then we we draw this. You have to use a scale. Okay, you have to use a scale. All right, a scale here. Now, the second step, this one this is what we have seen. The second step or the another step which you have to do, remember, we want to find the optimal solution. Optimal solution means we have so many ways where we can get profit, but we want to check which can be the best. Okay, which can be the maximum profit. There are two ways of solving this one. Uh, based on Ashish, what Ashish has done, he has solved uh, what was our maximization. What is our maximization? Our maximization. We have seen that the maximization, which we had, the max Z. Sorry, the max, the max Z. Our max Z was what? Can you dictate me, please? What is the maximization? Our maximization was? was 12 x1 plus 16 12 x1 2. Eh? 12 okay 12 x1 plus 16 x2 16 x2 16 x2 okay this are maximization all right so here in order to find the maximization we have to we have to solve okay we have to solve these two equation by we will have to find the x1 and the x2 by uh, uh solving these two equation uh by solving these two equation two equality equation in the sense i'm saying i'm saying there are two ways the first way we take 10 x1 10 x1 plus 20 x2 which is equal to 120 and uh, the second one is yeah is a uh, 8 8 okay 8 8 x1 sorry 8 8 x1 plus 8 x2 okay which is equal to 80. so we want to solve this one we want to find the value of x1 to find the value of x1 what do we do we want to uh, multiply one equation by minus let me multiply this by minus Okay, I'm going to multiply this question by minus and I'm going to multiply this by 10. Okay, multiply this by 10. Okay, by 10. And this I'm going to multiply by minus. Okay, I'm going to multiply this by minus. I'm going to change the sign for the first equation. So this, it will give me 10 minus 10. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to multiply this. Sorry, I'm going to multiply this. Okay, let me multiply this by uh, okay okay by okay let me solve in this way i'm going to multiply this by 10 no problem by 10 no problem but it can no no i'm going to multiply this by 8 my minus, minus 8 and this i'm going to multiply by 10 no problem let me go in this way all right so if i multiply this by minus 8 this by 10 then the solution which is going to give me here, I'm going to have, I'm going to have uh, minus 80, 
minus 80x1 plus uh, m not plus minus because minus multiply plus is going to give minus what 160x2 160x2 which is equal to minus how much you, what would be this one what would be this one 960 minus 960 the second question is going to give me plus 8 80 okay 80x1 plus 80 okay plus 80x2 and this is going to be what 800 640 sorry 640 are we together are you with me okay x2 sir it will be 800 no sir 80 huh? into Huh? 18 to 800 800 very good very good we are together should it be 800 very good should it be 800 800 good 800 now we solve this one this is gone is zero and now here we remain with the minus what minus 80 okay x2 which is equal to uh, 160 right minus uh 160 160 which is equal to 160 minus 160 minus 160 okay then x2 okay minus minus is going to be plus okay it's going to be plus so uh, x2 is going to be equal to 160 okay 160 divide 80 okay x2 is equal to what x2 is equal to 2 oh, okay right x2 is equal to 2 all right x2 is equal to 2 now we take this x2 and substitute let's say substitute we do substitute substitute okay substitute x2 okay into equation which equation you can put any equation into equation, let me go into equation uh, one, into equation one, okay? When I substitute this one, it's going to give me this one. The question one is, equation one is uh, 10 x1 and 20 is going to give me 10 x1 plus 20 multiply two, okay? Multiply two is equal to what? It is equal to, uh, 120 120 all right so this is going to give me 10 x1 is equal to 120 minus 40 why because when you change the side if it comes to the side the side is going to change okay which is equal to 10 x2 x1 is equal to uh, 180, 120 minus 40 is equal to 80. Okay, 80. Now, x1 is equal to what? x1 is equal to 8. Okay, 80 divide 10. 80 divide 10. Then x1 is equal to 8. Clear. x1 is equal to 8. So when you get these two values, you substitute these values into your objective function. Now, objective function, our objective function says that our objective function, we want, we have to uh, change objective function into equation, into equation in the sense you want to change into equation. There are two ways you may say, if you read the step number six or step number five, it mentioned that our equation, our objective function which we had here 12x1 and so on 12 12 x1 plus 16 x2 okay you may equate to zero both can work okay both can work or directly you can substitute we take 12 into what is x1 8 okay plus what 12 plus 8 plus 16 into what is x2 what is the value of x2 x2 value is equal to 2 right 2 what is the value of this one our maximization this is going to be equal to 
this is going to be equal to uh, what? This is going to be equal to. It's going to be 96. Equal, uh, this is equal. 12. 96. 96, eh? 96, okay. 96 plus what? 32. Okay. The value is equal to what? 128. 128. So this 128 which we found is a maximum, means the maximum profit, the max is it, the max is it, the max is it, the max is it is equal to 128. Okay, 128. Okay, this is our maximization. All right, so coming to our equation, this 128, it should be, look to our graph, remember, when when equation is rest are done what happened how do we shade how do we shade our quadrant the shade is going to be below, below the, line. the line below the line but if you shade let me take this one if I, I shade the yellow one if i shade the yellow one the first yellow one if i do like this if i shade the yellow one like this okay if i shade the yellow one so if I share the yellow one, what will happen to the line? Uh, what happened? Which line? Yeah, what happened to the line one? This is line two. This is line two. This is line two. What happened to line one? Line one will be shared both sides, no, no, up and uh, above and below, which is wrong. So the proper uh, maximization which we want to find, it should be below both the lines below both the lines so this shade it is impossible it's wrong okay this shade is wrong okay this shade is long okay and the correct shade is this line because if you shade the blue from the blue line here from the blue line here from the blue line here this one then this will be correct because both the lines both the lines if you shade this legion this is the legion which i have to share this legion here this legion till here okay so the correct region to be shared it is which point let me give the point we have a point a point a is a zero comma zero this is point a okay point b it is this one point b is point b i give point b as a zero a 10, 0. 10, comma, 0. This point, as you can see, this one, I'm going to give as a point C. Point C is what? What is point C? How to find before point C? Let me give you the point D. The point D is equal to what? Point D is equal to uh, 0, comma, 6. 0, comma, 6. Point D. Point C, to find the point C, if you have like a square sheet, the sheet which is for the gloves, the glove sheets, what will happen? Here you have to uh, take this point. Let me try to put like, yeah, red ink here. Like this point here, as you can see, the points here, this is point C, it comes here. It's approximate, let's say approximate, this is six, uh, eight, let's say approximate seven. Okay, or let's say it's a 7.5. Let's give us a 7.5. It's not accurate, but it's approximate, 7.5. And again, we draw this line here. If we use a scale, then we will find, okay? You draw this line here. Sorry, it's not straight. Let me draw this line here, all right? And this is, let's say it's like a 2.2. Let me say 2.2. So. Uh, point number C is going to be uh, 7.5 comma 2.2. This is the point C. This is a point C. Okay. This is our point C. All right. This is our point C from here. Let me, this is not needed. Just I wanted to show you how this is going to find this one. Okay. Okay. Don't be confused these lines. I wanted to give approximate of this one. Okay, approximate of this line. So now, what do we have here? Look here. What do we have here? 
Here we have something which is like this. Let me use a green. We have these things which is like this. We have this point. Let me shade this point. This uh, we have like this shape. Okay, this shape from this here coming to this point, coming here and going here. Okay, so this is what we have. This is our region. This region which we have is where we can find the profit. Is where we can find the maximum profit. So as you have seen, the first way, the first way is to solve the two equation, this equation, and find the value of x1, okay? And find the value of x1 and x2. The second way, the second way, we are going to substitute, we are going to find the maximum optimal solution based on the point where the shade is located. We want to find the maximum profit where the shade is located. Okay, what do I say? I'm saying this. We are going to find, we are going to find, we are going to find Z point A is equal to what? Z point B, okay, is equal to what the value? Okay. Sorry, I muted your video. Yes, somebody, it was muted. So Z point C, and we want to find Z point D. Okay, Z point D. So we want to find the value of this one. Remember, the coordinate of point A is what? Point A, let me write them here. Point A coordinate is a zero, zero. Why? Because, look here, why? because the coordinate is passing here. The coordinate is passing here, this point A, zero, zero, passing here. If you want to give the maximum, if it is equal to zero, okay, if you say maximum is equal to zero, then the line of Z will be this. This will be Z line, okay? This will be Z line. This will be the Z line. If we say maximum Z is equal to zero, this will be Z line. So point zero, zero is this one. Point B, we have 10. X is equal to 10, B is equal to zero. Keep, please, keep in mind this point so I will go fast. Hmm? 10 and zero. This one, 10 and zero. Here we have a zero. Z is equal to zero. Here we have a 10. Sorry. Uh, the maximum, the maximum we have a 12. Is it a 12? Let me check once again. Our Z, our equation is equal to 12 x1 16 okay here we have 12 x1 plus 16 x2 okay now here is going to be 12 multiply 10 into 10 plus 0 okay the value is equal to what 120 okay point number c what is point number c what point do we have for c is that 12 what is uh X, what is the value of X? X is equal to, what did, what the value did we give? What value did we give? Please, first, the value of X is equal to 7.5. And Y is equal to 2.2, 7.5, 2.2. We have 7.5, 7.5, okay, plus uh, 16, into 2.2, okay? What about D? What about coordinate of D? 12, I think the six, D is, D we have six, zero six, we have zero six, we have zero six. We have this one, we have zero six. We have 12 zero, multiply zero, sorry. 12 multiply zero, okay? Plus 16 multiply six into six, okay? What is the value of this one? What is the value of this one? Please, you can calculate. What is the value of this one? Do first the value of. You can calculate and tell me. 12, we are going to take 12 into 7.5. 90, okay, is equal to 90 plus 16 into 2. 16 into 2.2 is equal to what? The 32 is going to be 
What is the value of that one? 16 into 2.2. 16 into 2.2. Okay, 35.5. 35.2. 35.2. Okay, that five point. Sir, so it's one twenty five point two total. Yes, ah, huh? that five point two, right? One twenty five point two. Ah, huh? that five point two, right? So this is going to be hundred twenty five point two. Okay, what is the value for this one? Sixteen. This is zero plus sixteen into is equal to ninety six, right? Ninety six. This is ninety six. So which is the maximum? Which is the maximum profit? Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? Which is the maximum profit? C, sir. C, all right, C. So this is our final profit. The profit which we will go, we will go for the coordinate where the X1 is equal to that one. This is our final profit, okay? This is another way. Look what we have done for here. Here we have done almost 128. Since our coordinate, look, remember, our point was not accurate. Here we have assumed 7.5 and 2.2. That's why we had the number which is below, okay? Which is below to the, this equation. But if you calculate, if you uh, draw correctly with a scale, with your sheet, you will find approximate. You will find approximate answer. You find a person. I got sir, 128. You got 128, eh? Yes, sir. Z of C. Very good. You use the same way this one? Yes, sir. I used uh, you uh, put like 7.5 and 2.2. And two. Very good. Very good. Very good. So Ashish has used this way. Ashish has used this way. It's correct. It's correct. So you can also use this way. You can, you can, but I prefer this one because the profit can come from anywhere. But both they provide the same answers. Is it correct? Is it clear to you all? Sir. Yes, please. Sir, you share this four pages, sir, in the group. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let me, okay. let me share. Let me uh, download them so that you can, you can have them. Okay. I will download them. Okay. I will I will send once the class is done. Okay. Oh, okay. Sir. Yeah, sure. So is there anyone has a question? So for the assignment which I gave you, for to the assignment which I gave you, you have to show me the maximum profit. What should be the profit? You remember that when we start OR, we find that we want to minimize the cost, we want to maximize the profit. So by doing this coordinate into the graph, into the graph, what do we want to do? We want to find which will be the point. If you're wrong, you may draw like this, but any point anywhere you have to get the maximum profit. So that's why we need this method. Remember, this method is being applied when we have only two variables. Okay, when you have only two variables. Above two variables, there is another method to be used. At this moment, this is the way, this is how we solve it, all right? So, uh, what time is it? Time is up, okay, time is up. Sure, so then, um, let me thank you for today's class. For the next class, we shall see the minimization. For the minimization is only to change the shape side, okay? But I can't let you go without giving you uh, assignment okay i have to give you assignment hold on as i'm giving you one assignment 